So hello everyone and it's nice to meet you. So welcome to my channel and today I have a deck review that I'm going to show dear viewers and my clients as well. So this is one of the decks that I have and I really love to work with this deck. So this deck, um, I believe this is the first edition. So it's actually the Bark Flower Oracle Cards as you can see here. Uh, by Suzanne Winberg uh, and it's a 38 oracle deck and mainly it deals with bark uh, flower essences uh, bark flowers if anyone is really interested and keen um, in working with these areas uh, this is a deck that you will really enjoy uh, one thing I'm drawn to this deck is because it works with flower essences and uh, it just has a lot of different things. So as you can see, it has different flower essences, bark flower essences, the star of Bethlehem, chicory, chestnut bun, and wild rose. And it's really a wonderful deck. Um, all of you can check it out. So it's www.barkflowersonline.org. And the first time I got it, it's on Etsy. I believe uh, Suzanne Winberg uh, still has an Etsy store that sells um, her items there. So perhaps uh, you can go and check it out uh, on her Etsy shop or uh, through the website uh, itself. Uh, she is very contactable and I've interacted with her before, before I got the deck. So uh, yeah. So let's get into the uh, review right now. So I have been using this deck for a while. <laughs> it, I believe it's the first edition. So I've used it for a while and it is a really great deck to actually use. So let me get it out. So this is the guidebook that goes with it. Um, it has a great number of things so let me just flip it through so the other versions may be a little different but this is um, as you can see 2014 by Suzanne Winberg and it doesn't have a card spread layout that is usually depicted in other um, decks when they're published uh, their guidebook would have a section um, guiding you that how you can best use with a card spread layout so mainly you have um, different cards that is already introduced uh, early in the session in the section here in the guidebook already so they are all categorized uh, alphabetical order so you have agrimony aspen uh, beach century and you have the short uh, meaning of this uh, the specific meanings and the tips of how you can work with the cards even the flower essences itself um, positive keywords and affirmations as well so mainly I use it to work with um, healing um, bark flowers are really uh, primarily um, for myself as I was getting into it um, I will flip through this as I speak about this. So uh, used for healing, emotional healing, and some on the mental side as well. Um, there are really great uh, things that you can do with it, with this deck, even if you're not even um, doing healing as an energetic healer or using bark flower essences. So it's definitely great card to use. I have even used it as a yes or no um, question reading and yes or no question reading so you can definitely find a lot in this stack and you have mustard um, oak so yes yeah, so it's a really really great and easy way that you can actually see how it's printed and published uh, really really easy for you to flip through and it's not really a long section that you have to go through meanings for meanings the significance although I know that some people are really fond of reading through guidebooks but this is um, this is one reason why I'm drawn to this deck and it has been with me for such a long time and yes um, so this is the guidebook and I'll just flip through the deck 
uh, the deck is very usable so it is like this over here and each of this you have the artwork which is very beautiful um, you have holy right here from anger to love so open your heart and um, crab apple um, very very uh, vivid uh, creative visualizations and illustrations uh, that really help to spur you during um, your reading sessions because I am a reader and uh, this is very important because I do readings uh, visually as visually uh, actually most of the time and I will look at these visuals um, so if it's the color red or flowers it will be a message or significance that soul spirit and spiritual family is guiding or the significance of the heart over here or green with flowers maybe nature walk uh, guiding to nature take a nature walk and etc so it's a it's a lot for me to find decks that calls out to me visually so you have century um, sans centauri so you, there will be a definition here uh, the interpretation so from weakness of will to inner strength uh, it is okay to say no it's a short guidance and here you have honeysuckle so from old memories to new experience this deck came out for me a couple of times in the past when guidance was actually to leave things that doesn't serve me anymore behind <laughs> and it was literally depicted like this so it's a really great way that popped up for me uh, visually immediately in the reading and it was really really wonderful and I like this one as well um, sweet chestnut have faith and surrender I'll just show you the other cards So that is the whole deck. Uh, it's really a wonderful deck. Uh, I like the variation of illustration that uh, Suzanne Winberg did. She actually did 
all of these while she was pregnant um, and <laughs> yeah I, I was watching her artwork um, updates and etc it was really a fun process um, but I really love so much variation so this you have wild oat and uh, one guidance or one way of interpreting is actually follow your path or source will guide you on your way and don't worry about that or follow uh, this string source guidance and you can also use this for chakra guidance so orange uh, sort of like maroon I believe over here and various ways so I love um, working with this deck it is really wonderful deck and uh, one other way you can use this as source guidance on what type of um, um, bark flower uh, essence to actually take as well. I've actually used this before uh, and it was wonderful to work with. So yes, so that's all um, for the cards. So I'm going to talk about uh, how ease, the ease and accessibility of actually using the card. So the cards are really easy to use. The stock card is really wonderful. I've been using this for a long time. And it's still looking really great, uh, which I which I'm very very happy because I want to really keep this for a while. And when you shuffle, normally I'm shuffle like this, so really the norm shuffle. I do shuffle more like this though, and it's really easy. So really gentle with it, and then yeah, that's about it. So. Um, it's really easy to shuffle and really really nice and easy to handle as well it's really smooth um, actually I believe the plastic is really uh, durable over here for the published um, edition um, for the other editions uh, I know that Suzanne Winberg have um, actually uh, published other other editions uh, after the first one uh, maybe um, you guys can check it out or Suzanne can um, maybe I, I believe I'll post a website to her shop or all of you can go to this website about flowers online ORG and I will leave a description below to her Etsy store website and all of you can go there to take a look uh, she is active on Instagram, Etsy, and on her website. So yeah, and that's all for this review. I'll be posting another deck review um, in the near future, and it will be either the Mythic Oracle or the Self Love Oracle deck. Uh, these two are my favorite as well. And I'm not sure uh, which deck that all of you guys are using right now and is your favorite. Um, you can leave a comment below. And yeah, so thank you, you guys. Thank you. See you again.